Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Pokefinity and welcome to this Boundaries Cross Booster Box opening. Um, I don't know if I've really uh, put it out there that I received this, but um, I got it about a week ago from my girlfriend and she just randomly sort of bought this for me. And I was really freaking excited when it showed up and so I'm going to open it up for you guys. Um, as I usually do, I'm going to do this uh, top down. I'm not going to focus on any of the commons or uncommons since this set has been out for almost exactly a year, well, over exactly a year now. So, um, getting up there in age, so we won't have to worry about, uh, about focusing on those not so rare cards. So yeah, um, got all these packs to take care of, and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. So let's uh, let's jump right into this. Just gonna clear a spot out, and uh, let's see what I can get. I'm hoping for some uh, Keldeo EXs, Minita those, stuff like that. Squirtles. I'm sort of trying to build a deck. I don't know right now. So. Good start, we get a computer search, very nice. And a Lilligant rare. So that is really sweet. Always good to start off with an ace spec of that sort. So very nice, great start to the box. Disintegrated that pack. All right, get that code out of the way. A uh, Blossom Reverse and a Flygon. So we'll stick the reverses there. Actually, that's a hollow, so we'll stick you there. Very sweet. And I do have some nice white sleeves repaired. I've I put in an order for sleeves, so now I have uh, I have some uh, it's a little bit more organized with my sleeves instead of having just a bunch of random types of sleeves. Have a uh, I have similar types of sleeves for everything now, so it's always nice. We have Victini Reverse and a Swoobat Rare. I'm also looking for Skylas out of here, as I'm in need of a couple of those. But I mean, who doesn't need Skyla? So, always gonna take a look for those. We have a Mianfu and a Keldeo Rare. Pretty solid. Nice artwork on that Keldeo. I'm liking how these packs haven't really disintegrated for the most part. Pretty easy to open. So we have a Farfetch'd Reverse and a Charizard Hollow. Very nice. So we'll sleeve that up. Second Charizard that I have from Boundaries Crossed. Always a nice card to pull. Now, if you guys haven't yet watched my 18 packs of Plasma Blast, my half box. Um, I will just let you know that I am getting a booster box of Legendary Treasures. So, that will segue nicely into talking about the Charizard in that set, which is uh, it's a reprint, but at the same time, the artwork is just freaking magnificent on that card. So, definitely something I'm going to be hoping to pull out of that. But from what I'm seeing, it's pretty easy to pull well out of those boxes. So definitely going to be looking for that Charizard. There we go. Making some good time through here. We have Electrode and Musharna. And with Legendary Treasures, of course, you get the... Uh, the Radiant Collection mini set, and a lot of people seem to be having problems with uh, with um, card tricks and whatnot. There's a Skylar Reverse, very nice, pheasant rare, and the card trick actually isn't that hard if you if you pay attention to um, people going through the packs just normally to see how to do a card trick. There, it's actually quite simple. All you have to do is really just take off the back two cards, which are your standard uncommons. And then you're left with the two Radiant Collection cards at the very back and your two rares uh, 
just before them. So we have a P-Dove and a Lipard and another Skyla. So there we go. So yeah, card tricks aren't that hard. If you're having trouble with them, just remember that. Take off the back two cards. Those will be your uncommons. Just pull those to the front and you will be good to go. So we're, we're over halfway through this uh, first side, which means we're making some pretty good time here. And about five minutes in. As usual with these, there's going to be a cut in the middle just for uh, space on the SD card and whatnot. We have an Oddish Jellicent. Should pull out that Jellicent there. It feels really nice to be opening a booster box again. I love opening boxes because there's so many packs and it's just so nice to have a lot of cards at once. So we have Tangela and a Scizor hollow, so that's pretty nice. We actually got a Scizor reverse back there while I was uh, running my mouth about stuff. So uh, there we go, it's all good. Just gonna pile that up nicely. Yeah, Legendary Treasures is uh, looking to be a pretty great set. Those, um, those golden dragons, man, I swear. Freaking insane. We have a superior and a black key room. So I have Hugh and Great Ball. I did get the two Skylas I needed though, so that's good. If I can just get if I get another reverse, that would be awesome. But um, not too concerned about that. Put the code card in the wrong pile. So we have a Meloetta and a Grumpig. Just have four packs left on this. What was this? I think this was the right side. Darumaka and Whimsicott. And Boundaries Cross has always been, honestly, one of my favorite black and white series sets. There was a lot of, like, uh, Ken Subi Mori artwork for just a bunch of random cards that they printed for the set, but for the most part, it actually has really nice artwork. There's a squirrel, Delcaddy, and a Toxicroak. So, I quite like the set. Pack art is nice, it's very wintry. I was debating about saving this box for my Christmas special, but I just couldn't bear to have it sitting around for another month. Plus, I haven't really done any planning on a Christmas special otherwise, so just not, just not a huge deal. Um, I'm sure I'll come up with something, but we'll just have to wait and see how that goes. So here we are with the final pack on the right side. See if we can get our first EX for the box. Doesn't look like it. We have a Scolipede and a Ditto Hollow, so at least at least there's a Hollow out of there. So that's cool. So I'll sleeve that up, and uh, yeah, so there is the uh, finale of the right side. We got, how many hollows did we get? We got five hollows, and then of course we got a pair of Skylas, which is good, and computer search A-spec, which is very nice. So, so I apologize for that random cut, everybody. Um, recording just sort of stopped. It usually goes until about 11 minutes, but just kind of randomly stopped at about eight and a half, so um, it was kind of weird, but no big deal. We're just going to jump right into this side with a gold potion. So look at that. We're just we are just starting with the A specs in this opening. I swear. Going to have to cut very quickly. I apologize. Be right back. All right. Sorry for that cut, everybody. Just uh. Another little interruption there. So we got the gold potion, which was an awesome way to start off the left side of the box. And now, uh, continue with this thing. Hopefully, hopefully we can start to pull some EXs in here. That would be wonderful. So, just get uh, Stoutland. Ooh, look at, jeez. <laughs> All right. Being caught off guard, we get a shiny Terrakion. Kinda pink. Looks pretty sweet though, holy crap. <laughs> That's awesome. Very nice card. 
So, get shiny out of the box. That was, hopefully it is a sign of good things to come. Sort of lost my train of thought, interrupted for a little bit longer than I hope to be. So we get a lily pup and another swoop out, so there's a double rare. Double rares are never fun. Especially this early in the second half of the box. It's just like, come on. Just started. Alright, so we have a Darmanitan and Unpheasant, so. Still no EXs or full arts, which is sort of unusual. Being this far into the box and whatnot. Might be something in here. We have a hair cross and just another little again. So, once again, nothing too spectacular. But, Boundaries Cross boxes tend to be pretty good, so. Let's see what we can accomplish. We get a Gothrita and <laughs> Audino, which definitely is not rare in any sense. But, uh, just have to go along with it. Hopefully, something. Get a Skitty and just a Victini. Oh my god, if there was not a single EX in this box, this would just be. Unfreaking fortunate. Alright. Get a Psyduck and a Tangrowth Hollow. Tangrowth isn't, uh, isn't exactly anything <laughs> exciting, but uh, Hollow nonetheless. What are we left with for packs here? Nine, so we got halfway through the left side now. Still with nothing more than a couple of ace specs and a shiny. Here we go. Get a white cure in reverse and a gold duck. And another gold duck and another Skyla, so that's good. As I've said, Skylas are always good. Very useful or tradable. Whichever way you want to go. Oh, geez. Good thing that was only a common that I almost dropped. Just Psyduck. So we have Grumpig and Jellicent. I'm really just seeing the possibility of not a single EX in this box becoming more and more real as I go along. This is freaking insane. We have a Baneri and just a White Kyurem. Getting a little tense. Seventh pack to go. On this side. Tepig and a Samurott. It's an alright looking Samurott at least. Pack disintegrates. Get a pig knight and another Audino. Good freaking lord. Come on. Five packs left. I see something in here. Blast a ooh hoo hoo hoo. <laughs> Alright, that uh, that will definitely make up for the lack of EXs, and a regular Skyla, so there we go. <laughs> oh my goodness. And the Blastoise Reverse, so that was a very good pack. Oh my freaking goodness. We only have two sleeves left. Good lord. I was like, we're, get, we're getting down to five packs left, and not a single EX out of them. And there we get a Skyla Full Art. So, definitely, uh, definitely just became a lot better of a box. So 
So let's hope these last few packs will round out this now somewhat amazing box. Get a Woobat and a Blossom. I mean, how could it? How could a box not have any EXs in it whatsoever? I have no idea, but weirder things have happened, I suppose. So we have a Black Kyurem and a Musharna. Freaking two packs left, and no EXs. Guess everybody else in the case that this box came from must have had some fun. Because we have a Duat and another Stoutland. But a freaking entire booster box without a single EX. How does that even happen? Like, I'm all for Skyla, but... Come on. So, we're going to put down that last card. And we got a Squirtle. Search these Rocky Helmet, Town Map Reverse. And hopefully this is something nice. Oh, White Cure Me X. <laughs> On the very last pack, and this is something I have like three of now. So, definitely not an EX I was looking for by any stretch, but at the very least, an EX to have. So we'll do a quick recap, and uh... That'll be the end of this box opening. Alright, so to finish off this booster box, we did get some pretty decent pulls. We got a play set of Skylas with the reverse, so that is always nice. Um, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight standard hollows with five reverses that are typically hollows. So 13 hollows overall is pretty decent, I would say. Um, I would much rather have EXs or something like that in its place, but I'll take it nonetheless. We did get a Gold Potion A-Spec, which is pretty sweet, and Computer Search, which is always quite playable, so definitely happy with that. White Curum EX, not something I'm too happy about, because I do have a couple of these already, but for the most part it is an EX, and at least the box did come with one, rather than being almost a bust, if it weren't for the shiny Terrakion, which is quite cool. Not uh, not my favorite of the shinies in the set, but still pretty sweet. And of course, the full art Skyla, which is just the icing on the cake of what was a substandard box of Boundaries Crossed, but nevertheless, quite happy with this. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe as well, as I will have a Legendary Treasures booster box coming up quite soon, uh, within the next week or so. If you haven't gone and check out my, checked out my half box of Plasma Blast, that was also uh, quite decent. So make sure to go hit that up, see how I did over there. And... While you guys are waiting for my next video, make sure to check out my social media as all that stuff will be down in the description as well. So thank you guys for watching, and until next time, this is Pokefinity, I messed that up, and I will talk to you guys later.